it guys so I did all the steps that I needed to prepare this um, chia pudding I didn't use cashew milk I used this macadamia milk it's unsweetened so that's what I did I did a cup and a half um, I did put in this liquid stevia just a dropper fill and I added a little bit of this classic caramel syrup I put in sunflower seeds and um, chia seeds and that's about it this is going into the fridge all right so I just took this out of the fridge it was in there overnight and it looks so good look at that nice and thick and let's start on these chia seed pancakes all right guys I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing but we're gonna transfer this into a bigger bowl so we could go ahead and mix all our ingredients. I'm gonna do that. Wanna get all of it in there. So we got a bigger bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my four eggs to this mixture. real quick all right guys so I melted my four ounces of cream cheese so I'm gonna just go ahead and pour that into this mixture let's go let's see here and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that up as well or stir it up was three and a half tablespoons of the coconut flour so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that so I'm gonna mix this in one at a time because she did it like that and it looked like it worked a little bit better for her so I'm definitely going to just follow her steps. She made it look very simple and easy. So that's just what I'm doing. The only thing I have to say that I did different was I did not use cashew milk. I used the macadamia milk that I had on hand. Um, I believe she said we could use whatever milk we have. So that's what I went ahead and did. for about 10 minutes and I'll be back to go ahead and do the next step all right so it's been 10 minutes I just took this out of the fridge I hope it's in focus for you guys um, and I'm just gonna go ahead I already buttered this griddle I'm gonna go ahead and put a heaping spoon amount onto the pan so let's see how this comes out
smells so good. Okay guys, so I am going to attempt to flip these. I already tried to flip one off camera. Uh, let's see how I do. I want to say they're about ready on the bottom. There we go, nice. Okay. Those look beautiful. And it smells so good. No! Oh. I thought I was going to fail at this one because it's a little bit bigger than the others. But not bad. All right. Hey guys, so I am sitting down about to try these chia seed um, pancakes from Keto Meats Metapause and they smell delicious. Like, oh my God, I can't wait to try it. And it, I know it's gonna have like a nice little crunch to it, but let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste test. So, and there's nothing on it. I'm just grabbing it, just got off the stove. And these are thick and they hold up and they don't fall apart. So let's see. Wow. These are delicious. And they do have a nice little crunch because of the sunflower seeds. They're creamy. <laughs> little Presley wants to be in the video. Do you want to taste it, Presley? Do you want to taste a little piece? No, you don't want to try? Look, here, you want to try it? Mmm, is it good? Mmm, that's yummy. He likes it. It's baby approved. Um, these have such a nice flavor to it. They're very, um, kind of like creamy in the middle. They hold up just like pancakes. They have a nice crunch. Alma, thank you so much for this recipe. This is a new favorite of mine. And it looks like the baby wants more too. Um, so I'll leave the macros for mine on the side since the only thing I did different was the milk. Um, I made about 11 to 12 small ones. And yeah, I wanted to make them small just so I have a little bit more for the week. And so the macros are a little um, smaller. But I think for one, it's only one gram of net carbs, I believe. So look at him. He's grabbing more. He's putting it in his mouth. You like it? Yeah, that's yummy. Say thank you for the recipe. We enjoyed it. But I'm going to go ahead and eat this. And All right, guys. So I really did enjoy this recipe. It was so much fun making it. Very easy, simple. Um, I will leave all her information down below, her, a link to her channel. Definitely check her out because she is awesome. She makes great recipe videos. She always inspires me every day to come up with something new for keto. And yes, I love watching all her videos. She's a sweetheart. So thank you for tagging me in this challenge. It was fun. And as always, a thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that red button down there and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.